dog, here's my puppy Nero's Vanguard and find the drug game. Some guys asked me, uh, if your dog never found drugs, how could he find drugs? I told him with the fundamental of searching, I could teach him to find anything on one try. Ask me what you want to know. All right. How do you make a dog find narcotics? Well, narcotics is, is just playing, you know, a game of fine. And there's a foundation to bite work. There's a foundation to protection work. And there's a foundation to obedience. Now, I've never taught my dog to find narcotics because, of course, I don't have narcotics to play with. And nor have I have any pseudo, which is... Uh, that is, it is like, it's not the same thing. It would be the same thing as homeopathic, means like, um, which is the same thing like what you have today. My foundation of tracking is pretty much the foundation of search, of someone leaving and me holding them. The foundation of narcotics is just any ball game or fetch. You know, what bite work is, you know, to real aggression, silver, and pray is just the game of a chase a tug, you know, and obedience is just a, a mental game we play of manipulating behaviors with hand movement of food or toys and objects. So I don't have to teach a dog to find narcotics every day to find narcotics, to, you know, when I introduce them to a new game, I'm just using the fundamentals of the game. So since, since, since uh, your little crew here brought their little green stuff they want him to find. I'm gonna take it in here and I'm gonna put it on his nose and let's see, let's see, can he find this and he's never done this before. In a nutshell, if your dog knows how to find and he knows the game, I don't care what it is. If you put it to his nose and tell him to find it and somebody hide it, he should find right it. Right here, so you might wanna stand right here. Stand right there. He ain't gonna but he must know the right game. There, right there so you can see that. I'm not going to even put it on his nose. I'm just going to put it to the next cave. I want you to watch this dog when he comes out. It, it doesn't take him a long time to find anything. He's very sharp. He's a very good dog, and he's the best I ever had. I'm very good at teaching dogs to find items, searching, and find people, uh, drugs, money. If you know of my dog, Sumbo, I sold him to the police department. That dog, first week out, uh, he found a lot of drugs. Here's a picture of him right here. Under control, he's a protection dog, and people hear him because of his bite work. But he plays the game; he ignores people. Watch green, him. Boy? The green? Look at that. When he walked in the room, I could already tell he smelt it in the air, because otherwise he'd have shot past that uh, basket. But he smelt it in the air. The, the, the air was still. A lot of guys use a tester to test the air, but this dog here is very sharp. And a lot of nerves to stick his head in a basket like that with full of toys. So watch it. Look at him right there. Bam. He just had it. Bam. So now we're going to the other side of the house and we're going to do the same thing. Well, over there. In that yellow bin. What yellow bin? In that yellow bin? Oh. But I'll put it in there. What these guys don't know is anything that's out in the air and open is so easy to him. That's easy for him. He has a lot of drive. But when we're working, I've taught him, uh, doing search work and tracking, I've taught him to control his drive and be precise. So I'm telling him to check each one of them thoroughly. And he knows that game to check it. Now watch him, watch the drive when he thinks we're going to pull him back. Just go right in there. Push it. I was trying to keep him from damaging uh, the whatnots, so very expensive.